Deritter, Louisiana. Deritter is a small city and in the parish seat of Beauregard Parish, Louisiana, United States. A small portion of the city extends into Vernon Parish. As of the 2010 census Deritter had a population of 10,578. It is the smaller principal city of the Fort Polk South Deritter CSA, a combined statistical area that includes the Fort Polk South and Deritter Micropolitan Areas, which had a combined population of 87,988 at the 2010 census. Deritter was named for Ella de Ritter, the sister-in-law of a Dutch railroad financier, Jan de Gijen. Her family originally came from the small town of Heldermausen in the Netherlands, where she was one of 13 children. She ran away from home at an early age and was presumed dead by her family, who only later discovered that she had traveled to the United States. The town was named for her by her brother-in-law, who brought the first railroad to that area of Louisiana. Prior to that, the little town was known as Skeval. The first train line to serve the Ritter came in 1902. It was the Pittsburgh and Gulf Railroad, later called the Kansas City Southern. The July 26, 1924, the De Ritter Enterprise stated, the first house in De Ritter was made of logs and covered with board shingles, split by hand from the logs of the forest. It was constructed in 1893 and was the old homestead house of Calvin Shirley, who was the original owner of the land upon which the first business house and residence of De Ritter were built. Mr. Shirley homesteaded the 160 acres which was later platted and became the original town site of De Ritter. According to Eva Stewart Fraser, whose family came to De Ritter near the turn of the century, the largest pine in the world grew where De Ritter now stands, or so it is claimed by timbermen who knew. About the origin of the town, she says, the Kansas City Railroad was built from Kansas City to Port Arthur, and came right through here about 1896. By 1898 the trains were running. The post office was named Myersburg for the postmaster whose name was Myers. The railroad workers had used this spot for a camping place for the workmen, and people wanted to get near the railroad, so 160 acres of land was bought for the town site. Immediately following the purchase of the town site, a ramble of rough houses were hurriedly built out of rough lumber. By 1898 the town consisted of nearly 300 people in a number of shack homes and a sawmill. C. Landry and Mr. George Hurd had a hotel. There were about five small stores, besides. West Brothers had a Rouse Racket store on the east side of the track. By this time De Ritter had a sawmill, and timber was the prime industry of the area. The longleaf pine was the primary tree used in the industry. In 1903, De Ritter was finally incorporated as a town. In April 1904, a large portion of the business section of De Ritter was destroyed by fire. The cause was apparently arson. A grand jury collected enough evidence for this to indict George Smith, a gambler, with setting the fire. The man reportedly left town. De Ritter's first bank opened in 1906. On October 15, 1912, De Ritter was voted the parish seat of Beauregard Parish. The Beauregard Parish Courthouse and the Beauregard Parish Jail were built in 1914. De Ritter is located in northern Beauregard Parish at 30 degrees 515 and 93 degrees 1725 W. 30.85139 degrees north 93.29028 degrees west, 30.85139, minus 93.29028 and has an elevation of 203 feet. U.S. Route 171 leads south 48 miles to Lake Charles and north 15 miles to the entrance to Fort Polk and 21 miles to Leesville. U.S. Route 190 leads south and east 49 miles to Kinder and west 52 miles to Jasper, Texas. According to the United States Census Bureau, the Ritter has a total area of 9.2 square miles, of which 9.2 square miles is land and 0.077 square miles, or 0.96%, is water. The building known as the Old Beauregard Parish Jail is a structure that is considered one of the most distinctive of its type in the U.S. The structure has the characteristics of the collegiate Gothic architectural style, with shallow arches, dormer windows, and a central tower. This style was popular with colleges, universities and churches. The iron bars in most of the windows give the structure an eerie appearance. Inside, there is a spiral staircase that leads up to three floors of jail cells. Another history-making fact is that each cell had a toilet, shower, lavatory and window. When the jail was in use, prisoners could often be seen waving from the barred windows. It was built to house 50 or so prisoners, but held 13 in comfort. The walls are 13 to 21 in thick, made of reinforced concrete with a blasted finish. 
The first floor has quarters for the jailer and his family. In the jail's basement, a long corridor leads to the courthouse next door. In 1928, there was a famous double execution by hanging in the jail for two murderers. These were the only recorded hangings in the jail. The prisoners were hanged by an apparatus at the top of the spiral staircase. After this the jail became known as the Hanging Jail. The jail was used until 1982, when a court action forced it to close. On October 4, 1981, it was put on the National Register of Historic Places, along with several other buildings in Deritter. In 1983 Washington, 2nd, Stewart, and Port Streets were added to the National Register of Historic Places listings in Beauregard Parish as the Deritter Commercial Historic District. As of the census of 2000, there were 9,808 people, 3,819 households, and 2,616 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,155.4 people per square mile. There were 4,454 housing units at an average density of 524.7 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 60.81% white, 34.73% African American, 0.57% Native American, 1.42% Asian, 0.03% Pacific Islander, 0.57% from other races, and 1.88% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.40% of the population. There were 3,819 households, out of which 33.3% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 48.6% were married couples living together, 16.9% had a female householder with no husband present, and 31.5% were non-families. 28.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.48 and the average family size was 3.03. In the city of Deritter, the population was spread out with 27.1% under the age of 18, 8.6% from 18 to 24, 27.3% from 25 to 44, 22.4% from 45 to 64, and 14.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 37 years. For every 100 females, there were 89.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 83.3 males. The median income for a household in the city was $31,952 and the median income for a family was $39,384. Males had a median income of $36,388 versus $21,302 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,996. About 15.0% of families and 18.0% of the population were below the poverty line, including 22.1% of those under age 18 and 18.2% of those age 65 or over. Beauregard Parish School Board operates local public schools. For the city of Deritter these schools are The Beauregard Daily News, a daily newspaper, is based in Deritter. A 